Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Nevada U.S. Senator Dean Heller and Democratic Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island have introduced a bill to temporarily extend federal jobless benefits for the long-term unemployed. The measure introduced Wednesday would extend the federal program for three months. A budget deal on track for passage eliminated the federal jobless benefits that were implemented at the height of the recession when the unemployment rate skyrocketed. Nevada pays benefits up to 26 weeks. State officials say 17,000 Nevadans will be cut off from assistance when the current federal program program expires on December 28th. Another 800 people per week will lose benefits unless the program is extended. Nationally, 1.3 million will lose unemployment insurance. Nevada's 9.3 percent unemployment rate is the highest in the nation. Nevada's brothel industry came into the crosshairs of an Oklahoma Republican Senator Tom Coburn's annual waste book, a year-end hit list of program he says optimized financial excess in the federal budget. Coburn argues that the Silver State's prostitution industry, number six on his hit list, is effectively being subsidized by the federal government through business tax deductions. Brothels can take deductions for grocery, salaries, and wages of prostitutes, rent, utilities, taxes, and licenses. The report says breast implants and costumes have also been ruled allowable deductions by the Internal Revenue Service. Coburn accuses the industry of bilking the federal government out of $17.5 million. There is, of course, no special prostitution section of the tax code. Brothels simply take advantage of normal business tax deductions. Nevada got another nod on the list at number 92 for the $800,000 the federal government spent on a 2012 Strong Communities, Strong Cities grant to help Las Vegas plan its continued recovery from the recession. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval has signed a follow-up agreement with the governor of Mexico to promote tourism, cultural, and artistic exchanges between the two governments. Sandoval and Governor Vallegas of the state of Mexico signed the agreement of cooperation in Las Vegas. The agreement expands the memorandum of understanding the pair signed when Sandoval visited Mexico on a trade mission in July. The leaders say they both will promote state tourism attractions, collaborate through hotel associations, and work to improve air flights between the two destinations. Additionally, it says Nevada's outdoor activities including big game hunting and special events will be promoted in Mexico. Nevada in turn will explore marketing events and crafts in the state of Mexico. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. This is the first business brief for Thursday, December 19th. I'm Angela Miles. As Americans await the call from the FCC on whether it will lift the ban on using cell phones during flights, some airlines have already landed on a decision. Delta Airlines is sticking by its policy of no in-flight phone calls. JetBlue is also choosing to silence the cells. Across the pond, British Airways will allow unrestricted use of handheld devices starting today. Ford stock stalled on a profit scare. The automaker will launch 23 global products up from 11 this year. But the costly launches leaves profits between $7 and $8 billion next year. Ford posted $7.3 billion during the first three quarters of this year. The stock fell 6%. And Apple is taking orders for its new Mac Pro desktop computer today. The new Pro is being manufactured in Texas. Components are also being made domestically. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. The United States Environmental Protection Agency today announced over $2.2 million in Diesel Emission Reduction Act grants to partners along the West Coast and Pacific Island territories. The 14 grants are administered through the West Coast Collaborative and EPA Region 9 and Region 10 Public-Private Partnership aimed at reducing diesel emissions and leveraging an additional $6 million from public, private, and nonprofit partners. The EPA-funded projects will clean up 93 medium and heavy-duty diesel engines and reduce over 262 tons of nitrogen oxides, 16 tons of particulate matter, and 8,317 tons of carbon dioxide over the life of the projects.
The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is extending for 45 days the comment period on a proposal to list a distinct population of sage grouse as a threatened species. Public comments will be accepted through February 10th. The federal agency in October proposed protecting a distinct population along the Nevada California line under the Endangered Species Act. The proposal would designate about 1.8 million acres as critical habitat. The service estimates there are only about 5,000 of the birds left. Valley Electric Association has started accepting applications for its annual scholarships. Each year, VEA awards a variety of post-secondary education scholarships to assist the cooperative's members and their children. The prompt based cooperative will award six scholarships in 2014. To get an application, you can go to vea.coop. When we come back from this break, we'll have Noah Began and some announcements you might want to get a pen for. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Thursday, December 19th. Today we had scattered showers with a high of 56 degrees. It's also your average temperature. Your winds were coming from the west-northwest at 8 miles per hour with gusts up to 16 miles per hour. The UV index today was 2, which is low. Humidity is at 42% today. Sunrise was at 6.50 this morning, and the record high in 1942 was 68 degrees. Tonight we'll have continued showers with a low of 30 degrees, an average temperature around this time of year of 38 degrees. Winds are coming from the north-northeast at 4 miles per hour with gusts up to 9 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 78 percent. Sunset will be at 4.32 p.m., and the record low in 1945 was 22 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have sunny skies with a high of 56 degrees and a low of 29 degrees. Winds are coming from the north-northeast at 12 miles per hour with gusts up to 23 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 39 percent. Sunrise will be at 6.51 a.m. and the UV index will be 2, which is low. For our seven-day forecast, we'll have a mostly sunny week with some clouds on Tuesday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the mid-50s to the mid-60s and your low temperatures will be ranging from the high 20s to the low 30s. Thanks so much, Noah. Saturday, K9 Radio will be holding their Christmas food drive. Come by Smith's on Highway 160 from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. to donate to the holiday drive. And come down to the VFW on Homestead Road from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturday for a Christmas fundraiser. Boy Scout Troop 651 will be hosting the event with lots of crafts and vendors. For more information, you can call 702 807-6776. That's 702-807-6776. And the third annual Christmas the Cowboy Way is looking for donations for their event this Saturday at the Mesquite uh, at the Maverick Saloon on Mesquite. For more information and to donate, you can call them 513-6216. That's 513-6216. And Christmas the Cowboy Way will be held at the Maverick Saloon on Mesquite on Saturday. Santa will be there and all the fun begins at 1, so if you want to come on down, Santa will also be visiting the Prump Nugget inside their Kids Ventures from 9 a.m. until noon on Sunday. And all are invited to come on by and meet the Jolly Elf. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. From everyone up here on the Hill, we hope you have a great evening. Good night.